Good afternoon, homesteaders. Welcome to the homestead. Time is of the essence when you're on a homestead. There are so many different tasks to do, so many different jobs. In my opinion, if I can find something that's automated, that helps me save time, I'm gonna go for it. And I have something to show you today that's gonna help save just a little bit of time. Let's talk about what that is. Okay, all of you recognize my hen gear nesting box. As you can see, this one is well used. We've had it for years. I love these things. It helps save my eggs. However, one task I always seem to forget is to either put up the bar or put down this roosting bar. It's just something that I cannot remember to do or I've got a million other tasks that it's just not that important and I brush by it so that I can complete something else. I'm gonna show you how to install this automatic roost bar opener and closer. So I've showed you one of these in the past, but it all, always just opened it in the morning. This one closes it at night. I get a lot of hens that sit in there and they're the bullied ones and they go and hide and they poop everywhere. So I'm done with that. You'll be able to find this on the Hen Gear website, hopefully in mid to late April, and you'll be able to use our discount code. So I'm gonna show you how to assemble this and put it on an old Hen Gear nesting box. All of the new Hen Gear nesting boxes that they are producing right now are automatically configured to accommodate some of their items like this. All right, let's get into it and I'll show you what to do with this old box. Really quickly for an explanation before I install it, is this has a programmable timer. So you can tell it when to let the bar down and when to bring it up. And that's dependent on your laying times for your hens. And I know what you're thinking. What if a hen gets stuck inside? Well, they've already thought about that. This is a laser. It bounces to the other side of the nesting box. If there's a hen in the nesting box and it breaks the beam of the laser, guess what? It opens the nesting box back up so the hen can get out. Okay, here's what comes in the kit. Of course, we've got the main body here with the computer board in it and all of that, the timer. But we've also got the actuator that mounts inside and opens and closes that roosting bar. We've got an AC plug. So this currently just uses AC, but they are developing it to be used with a small solar panel and also with the battery. So with the main unit, I said it's got the laser on this side. Well, this is the reflector that goes on the other side of the nesting box to bounce that laser back. So if that beam is broken, again, it opens up and lets the hen out. And then it's also got these magnetic wire clips because there is a wire that runs inside of the nesting box itself. You don't want the hen getting tangled up in that or anything. So it's got these little magnetic wire clips that hold that wire tightly to the roof of your nesting box. So on this old nesting box, you have to drill all the holes in the side to mount it. And they will be providing a template for you to be able to do that. But they will also make available a replacement side for your old nesting box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take off this old side instead of drilling the holes today, and I'm gonna replace it with the new one. The only holes that I will have to drill are in the bar itself and in the top, and that's to accommodate the brackets for the actuator. So in terms of thinking of the tools that you will need for this job, you will need a drill with some drill bits that'll drill through metal. This is the boring and tedious part. I'm not gonna make you watch me undo all the screws and then reattach it. See you in a second. Okay, the new side is on. Let me bring you in close to show you how to attach and assemble all of the other pieces. All right, here's the main control box. It has a screw in each one of these holes. Those marry up with these holes right here. And you can see this big hole in the center here is for our laser. And off to the side right here is a smaller hole for our cord to attach to our actuator this is pretty sharp metal and they thought ahead of time. They sent a rubber grommet to put in this hole so that it does not cut the wire. The next step is to measure for the holes for the actuator bracket. And it's recommended that you come down three and a quarter and come in two inches. And that's for the small nesting box. The other ones are different. But when this is released, the instructions for the different size boxes and the mounting positions for this will be included. And for this top hole, you're gonna need a 7 32 inch bit. 
Down here on the wood bar, you're gonna to need to drill another hole, and that's to accommodate the other end of the actuator. This one has a bigger bolt that attaches to it, so you will need a quarter inch bit. So we're gonna place our bolt in the center of our bar, but we're gonna measure in from the end about two inches. Our actuator is gonna fit in like this. So you can see the position of the top bracket. This is sideways, the cord is on the bottom, and the position of our bottom bracket. And this gives us adjustment on the bracket so that it opens and closes correctly with the amount of space that's proper for it. However, you can see we don't have room on this old box here for the actuator. So what we're gonna need to do is cut a slit in our curtain about one inch in and one inch wide. Another nice feature that they designed into this is providing this pull pin here. And what that does is give you the ability to pop it out. So if it's in the middle of the day and you're collecting eggs, but it's open, it's blocking your egg tray door right here. So we're gonna pop it out and you're gonna swing that actuator out of the way. And that way you can open the door. Now we're gonna attach our actuator inside with the pin and the cotter pin. This might be a little bit easier if we flip it over on its end. So like I showed at the beginning, it has these little wire clips. You need to thread through that little zip tie through to two slots on the wire clip, and then we're gonna attach it to our wire. And that will give us the ability to stick the wire up out of the way wherever we need to. So you can see how the actuator is set up in here. It's bolted through the top and how those wire management clips hold your power wire out of the way. Okay, we're almost done. We need to put this laser reflector on the inside, but to do that, we need to drill some holes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down or off to the side. We're gonna measure in six and one quarter inch. And then from the bottom, we're gonna come up eight and three quarters inch. We're gonna make a mark and that's where the center of our reflector is gonna sit. So from there, we're gonna come up one and an eighth inches, draw a line across, and then just put two dots in the center of the opening there. We're gonna use a 964 inch bit. We're gonna drill two holes right there and right there. Now we'll attach the reflector on the inside. Use the washers that are provided and the screws. We'll put that through this side and use the lock nuts on the exterior. All right, here's the AC power adapter. We're gonna click that on, plug it in and get our actuator out here so we can adjust it. As soon as you plug it in, your actuator is going to operate. So make sure that it's not stuck inside. And you can see it came all the way out to here. And I'm just gonna put our push pin right back in through it. You can see my slot wasn't exactly perfect. I went over a little too far, but that's no problem. Just give it a little trim. You can see what it's doing and hopefully it stops where I need it to stop. Perfect. Okay, now that we have the bar closed, I've taped up the curtain for you so you can see the laser in here. I'm gonna put my hand in there and show you what happens. You can see the laser bouncing off the other side. Show you what happens if a hen gets stuck inside with your bar up. So I'm just gonna reach my hand in there. You can see I haven't broken the beam yet. I'm gonna break the beam, boom, it automatically opens. Okay friends, that's it for the installation. It's pretty easy. And like I said earlier, anything that can help me save a little bit of time for a job on the homestead, I'm gonna jump on it if I can. You can see all the cool features that are built into this and the thoughtfulness that went into making it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the description below the video. And don't forget to head below and look for the Hen Gear link where you can get a discount on these rollaway nesting boxes as well. And make sure you look out for these in the near future. Have a beautiful blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.